All right, so last time we were talking about elections here, uh, it was the primary election, the Republican primary election. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, this must be the runoff. It is not. This is some weird joint election, as we can see. And it looks like it's 18 pages if we check it, but most of these are local races. I think all of these are local races that I'm not eligible to vote for because I'm not in Cleveland, I'm not in Magnolia. Okay, but there are two propositions for the state of Texas. And the first one is, fill in the, okay, that's not it. Um, the constitutional amendment authorizing the legislature to provide for the reduction of the amount of a limitation on the total amount of ad valorem taxes that may be imposed for general elementary and secondary public school purposes on the residence homestead of a person who is elderly or disabled to reflect any statutory reduction. Okay, so basically it's, it's very weirdly worded. Okay, if you want property taxes to go down and for, you know, elderly and disabled people, vote yes on this, right? That's what it says. Uh, reduction of the limitation. So basically, it's going to, the, re the reduction from property taxes that you can take out if you're elderly or disabled goes up. So you pay less taxes overall. All right. I love it. So I'm here at the park. And there's, they've been doing this new weird thing where, hold on, that's a tree. Can we see it? Mm. Hold on. What is going on here? Can we see it? Okay, you see the flashing lights behind the tree? They always turn the light, the park ranger guy comes out here and turns on the lights where it's flashing for the last half an hour. I'm getting epilepsy. So anyways, that's always annoying. Uh, it closes at 11 and I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's 11th, yeah, uh, right on cue. Just start flashing everyone with those lights. Anyways, uh, so the point is this basically raises the exemption limit. So if you have a $200,000 house, I think it's, Whatever it is for, let's say it's twenty-five thousand, and this could potentially get it higher. That exemption that you don't have to pay taxes on it reduces the the value of the house that you pay taxes on. If you're elderly, it's very convoluted. Again, if you don't, if you want elderly or disabled people to pay less taxes on their property taxes, then vote for that. Uh, the second one is. Uh, the constitutional amendment increasing the amount of residence homestead exemption for ad valorem from 25 to 40. So basically, if, if you have a homestead exemption, like I do, because I own my own home, um, if your house is worth $100,000, you can take 25 off and you only have to pay taxes on the 75. Now that goes up to 40. Okay. So the $100,000 house minus 40, 60 is, is your base rate you're paying taxes on. So yes. And that's it. There's 18 more pages, but it's all these school districts and MUDs. I, I, uh, municipal utility, it's basically the water company for these districts here. I, there might be one of them that I'm in, but it's like, it's, 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 it's these, yeah, who's going to be on the board of the mu municipal utility district? Who cares? I don't know. But that's basically it. It's the property taxes. That's the joint election, and you're going to have a primary runoff in... And at the end of May, I think. But this is on, on the 7th, and I'm going to put this up on, uh, it is the, uh, it is Wednesday, May 4th, but I'm going to put this up on the morning of the 7th of the election. So that's basically it. I'm, I'm just doing these little fun election ones, and we're, we're going through these. So anyways, that's it, and uh, yeah.